Welcome back Ink Chasers. This video is going to be in the first of a new series that I'm going to be titling Tips, Tricks, and Tutorials. And today I'm going to cover TTMs through the mail and how I send them. I'm going to start off with simple cards. These are actual, this is actually a request that I will be sending out, sending to Bruce Bochi. I've seen these four cards, 77 tops, uh, 85 FLIR, 79 tops, and 80 tops. So I get a number, I think this is a number 10 envelope. Got my stamp, got the address. I'm leaving my address off for obvious reasons, but be sure you put your address here for those who don't know how to write a letter. I know it's in these times it's sometimes people forget things but so there's this one and then I have a smaller envelope that I'll have my address here and I would highly recommend put your address here as well on these I've got multiple times where either they couldn't read my handwriting or I got a story that maybe I'll go over later about uh, a celebrity adding extras and it was came back returned to sender for insufficient postage because what they added was more than what I had sent and it always goes back to this address so on your return envelope I highly recommend always have your address in both spots you got your letter so I put my letter in put the envelope in and then slide the cards in. Now I don't use high value, high dollar cards. I mean you can see they're dinged up, they're you know they're collector's cards, they're not not anything that's gonna be resold, they're my personal cards, so you know, they're not in great shape all the time. So I just slide them in. I know some people put them in uh, team loader bags, some people put them in top loaders, and then seal them. Now one of the things I, I always like to do is use the self-adhesive envelopes on the, way, on the inside. You know, if it's one thing if I have to lick it, I don't want to have them to have to lick it. I know back years ago whenever there was the anthrax scare, a lot of people wouldn't do anything with envelopes. And I was getting a lot of stuff returned, you know, and the envelopes weren't sealed all the way because I guess they didn't want to lick it. So, since then, I always put the um, self-adhesive envelopes on the return. <clears throat> Next, I will show you how I do my 8x10s. And I am going to be sending to actor Wilford Bramley. Both of these are from The Natural. And this is just blank cardboard I put in for backing to try to keep it from bending and then sorry for the arm there there's his address if you like to like that for yourself but I write do not bend I do not add extra postage for that some people do they, it does cost more to have them hand sort it but I just mainly do that hopefully that um, my uh, my mailman will let he'd buy it and not bend it, but that's not always the case. Slide it in. Return envelope again. I would say put your address in both spots. These I do fold and put in. You can buy bigger envelopes, but I'm think it may put it up to the higher um, dollar bracket for the uh, postage. So I I try and keep it as low as possible. Put that in and seal it, and that's ready to go. And then the last one I have, and next up, I'll show you how to do baseball. I will be sending this one to Hall of Famer Ryan Sandberg. And you can also do this with hockey pucks as well. And uh, my other son, Oliver, collects ice cream helmets signed, and I'll show you his collection at a later time. But that will uh, that will work as well. Sending a official Major League Baseball 
There's the commissioner signature. And I, what I like to do is wrap it in tissue paper. Some people like to put them in baggies, um, whatever works best for you. This to me works great. And I also send the pin I would like them to, to sign with. If you don't, you never know what kind of pin you're going to get it signed in. It could be Sharpie, it could be black, it could be glitter pin for all I know. But you got your envelope, got an address, put your address here. I send this one is a nine by two and a half or nine by a quarter. I put that in. Put the baseball in. Put the pen in. Put your letter in. And Ryan Sandberg does require donation, so I'm sending cash. And I'll be putting that in, and you just seal it all up, and you're ready to go. Now these are actual TTMs that I will be sending out today. So who knows? Keep in touch, keep watching, subscribe, like, and maybe you will see these soon coming back. Thanks for watching.